What's going on YouTube? Greg here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to repaint your OEM brake calipers. So here we have the rear Toyota Supra brake calipers. These are all original uh, Supra Turbo brake calipers. You can see that you know the paint, original finish is faded and uh, they're pretty much just all gray and dull looking. So we're going to repaint them a nice gloss black so here we're using uh, pour 15 and uh, this is just caliper paint got this on Amazon for like 14 bucks it comes uh, eight ounces but I already did the front calipers and I barely used any paint so this you could probably paint like 10 sets of calipers uh, with just one can of that um, Another thing I have here is uh, Pour 15 Metal Prep. This is a uh, etching solution that you put on the caliper before you paint it, and then you rinse it off, uh, and that just helps the paint adhere to the surface better. Um, so that stuff we bought, um, that's it's pretty cheap too, probably like $5 for this bottle. Some other things we have here, uh, just some degreaser. I usually use uh, some like simple green, but I couldn't find it, so I just use engine degreaser. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. If it removes engine grease, then they can remove uh, brake dust buildup. We also have some brake parts cleaner. This will um, help clean off some of this degreaser because this stuff usually goes on like soapy, and this will help dry it out and uh, get it ready for us to um, scuff it. So here I have some Scotch Bright red pad. This is like 320 to 400 grit. I use this to scuff the surface um, to give it a little bit better uh, surface for the caliper paint to stick to. And then um, we use the metal prep last. And I have two types of brushes. This is just a regular, you know, cheap hair brush that you can get from any hardware store and this is a foam brush this is going to be used to apply the caliper paint and this is going to be used for the metal prep because uh, we can get into the grooves and stuff like that and uh, help uh, cut down on the amount of um, liquid that we use here and then lastly I have some new uh, caliper stickers that I got from eBay so you can see that you know they look pretty much identical as far as the, the design goes. Um, the lines itself look a little bit bigger, but um, you know we might have to. Yeah, I think it should be fine. The stickers are a little bit bigger than the OEM, but it'll be fine. First thing we did, we removed the calipers from the car. I don't recommend doing this on the car because then you can't really paint the whole caliper. But if you're only intending to paint like half the caliper, up to you um, you can leave it on the car but for my purposes I doing it right I took it off the car I'm putting in new brake lines so it doesn't matter um, I took off the hardware I took the pads out so it's a bare caliper right now and um, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning it so I'm just gonna spray it down with the engine degreaser I'm going to let it sit for about 30 seconds and I'm gonna work the uh, the degreaser in with um, that hairbrush and to uh, you know get as much dirt and debris off the surface uh, as possible so let's go ahead just you know this stuff is like I said it goes on like soap this type, this type of degreaser so um, but it works well for removing junk So, yeah, I'm going to let that sit for about 20 seconds, and then I'm going to use a uh, brush, something like this, just to, uh, you know, work it in. A brush like this gets into all the grooves and crevices that you can't really reach with your fingers, um, or like a, just a regular towel. So, this brush comes in handy for all types of cleaning. So just wipe the whole surface down, nice. All right, as you can tell from my gloves, 
um, that this stuff was pretty dirty. So we wiped it all down. I'm gonna use the brake cleaner now. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area because this stuff stinks. So we dried it, wiped it down after the brakes cleaner. Uh, we're just gonna get some red scuffing pad and we're gonna scuff the surface of the brake pad like that. So do this to the whole caliper. Then we'll go ahead and clean it again with the brake cleaner and then uh, we can start putting the etching on. So we're ready to start using the metal prep. And uh, what I usually do instead of just pouring it onto the caliper, I usually pour a little bit at a time onto the brush like that. And then I just, you know, brush it on like this. And to do this, uh, it says you need to just brush it on the surface and keep the surface wet for like 15 minutes and then you rinse it off with water. Uh, washed off the metal prep with some clean water and we dried it and I used my uh, air dryer as well to uh, get into all the cracks and blow out any remaining uh, water that was uh, stuck in there. So now we can go ahead and paint it. We are using the Pour 15. As you can see, it's uh, some thick gloss black paint. I'm using my little foam brush. Get these from Harbor Freight. Got like 10 of them for a few bucks. Super cheap. They're like one time use though, because this paint dries and then it hardens up and it doesn't really paint nicely ever again. You can clean it, I think with maybe lacquer thinner, but it's not really worth it. Unless it's like a nice paintbrush. Dude, we're talking like 40 cent paintbrushes here. So, I'd rather just throw it out and use a new one. Because how often are we painting brake calipers? Not that often. So, we're gonna do a uh, nice first coat. You know, nothing too heavy. Just enough to uh, cover the surface. You want to brush it as smoothly as possible. It'll give you a better texture um, for when it dries. But you can see I'm barely dipping the brush into the, uh, the can here. Like I'm lightly brushing this stuff on. You can see I'm not like globbing it on super heavy where there's like runs. Um, I don't like that. So first coat's always good to do, you know, light. So they say three to four hours for this stuff to dry, but in my experience, it's actually dried pretty a lot quicker than that. Like it was more like after an hour and a half, this stuff was like dry to the touch. Um, I wouldn't let it rest against anything because it might stick to it. that's why I like doing it in two parts here all right so we've gone ahead we waited overnight for the first coat to dry and this morning I put on a second coat of the pour 15 caliper paint we used a new brush we did that second coat nice and evenly we waited about six hours uh, for that to dry and I just put on the Supra uh, stickers the OEM look stickers and I um, use some engine enamel clear coat to spray the calipers because I didn't like the pour 15 clear and this stuff is actually high temp rated so it will withstand the heat from the calipers um, engine paints good up to 500 degrees and so is pour 15 caliper paint so it's perfect um, so I put on two pretty even uh, wet coats onto the caliper and they look absolutely amazing they haven't dried yet so I'm not sure what the final finish looks like but you can see here with the uh, you know just my garage light that these look super nice I'm very happy with how they came out and uh, I hope yours come out just as nice so once again very quick not quick but very simple straightforward job cost you less than $20 in materials to do this yourself. 
Uh, if you liked the video and you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button to check out my future videos. Thanks.